Happy Friday, everyone. My name is Terry Jones, and I am going to be doing a demonstration on really loose tulips on uh, just white paper. So I've got this idea of tulips. Many years ago, I did this one. I really loved this painting. Um, so I'm going for that level of looseness, I think. So the first thing that I'm going to do was wet my piece of paper, which <laughs> I cleaned my piece of paper with alcohol and it stuck to the back of my painting or the picture I just showed you. So anyway, here we go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take some colors and just kind of let them mingle a bit on, on the paper. So um, I'm gonna put my image up here where you can't see it, but I can. And I'm just going to start looking at some colors. So um, I'm going to use ember for some of the flowers. I'm going to use some of the uh, a yellow. I may even use a bit of a fiesta. I might go for some pink in there, not quite as red. And uh, that might be in a little bit of Valencia because I really do like um, that, some of those purple leaf, the pinkier tulips. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is make sure my brush is clean and I'm gonna start with some of the reds and I'm just gonna pull in kind of shapes that I think are tulipy shapes, just starting to pull in some little shapes. And I'm going to now go, um, gonna work a little bit here. I may pull in another shape in down here. Um, for whatever reason, my tulips are looking like not very tulipy, but that's okay. I'm going to kind of live with it at the moment. Cleaning out my brush, I'm going to put some Fiesta kind of tulip in. This one's gonna be closer to us. I may even put a Fiesta over here. Let's see how this one's going. And I may even add some other interest here. These are just flowers. Um, don't know why I I, you know, so usually this turns into really pretty uh, kind of, okay, so I'm going to start just saying these tulips are coming down here. And then I'm going to go back and get a little bit more control of some of these tulips. So um, I might go in with a, a, a little of a a purple maybe even um, on that fiesta just a tiny bit possibly see what happens if I add some some purple to one of them I might go in and actually reduce some of the color of the fiesta I think I'm going to go with um, a q-tip and try to clean out these edges just a little bit. I don't know why today we are having this issue with it's not being particularly roundy, but that's okay. I'm going to clean some out and it's fine. I'm not, I'm not real worried about, you know, I can make another layer in here. I might make another layer in here. Tulips are gestural. They're, they're, you know, I might have a layer of thing. I, I love what happened with that one. Uh, maybe this one I want to come this way a little bit with. Um, I can even run some of this yellow in this fiesta here and just kind of give it a little bit more um, interest. Do I have two there? I probably do. Let's see what I got here. So right now I've got some really nice tulips. I might even put another yellow one over here behind this one and sprinkle in a little more in here. So I'm, I'm liking the looseness of it. And um, so now I'm going to put some 
start thinking of some greens. I don't want um, a whole lot of of uh, the greens getting in with the with the tulips themselves. I'm just trying to get some kind of expressive feeling greens and yellows in here. So again, I just used, a, that was Limeade, and this is uh, Everglades, I think. Um, I like Everglades as a dark green. I also want to get some more colors, kind of, again, I said this is going to be very loose. I'm not trying to make everything perfect. I'm going to give you the illusion of um, tulips, not the reality necessarily. And I may even have, you know, like a, you may end up with a, with a bit coming over the front of a tulip and, and I may end up with some more pieces here. So far I'm liking it. It's, very loose. Uh, I got to clean out that dark color I got in there. Um, I'm going to, I think, work a little bit on tightening up. I love this flower. I love this flower. These, these two just kind of got discombobulated. So I think I'm going to take this and make this into just a new shape here. Oh, there's a a new shape of sorts and try to get more yellow in that. Um, let me find my yellow. There I go. Might want to get some more yellow in that. I also tend to love splashing and splishing. So, so if I make this one, like there's a, there's a flower up there and then I'm going to just pull some down from here. And then there's actually a flower behind it here. And I can uh, possibly even make that a different color on that side. And this kind of overwhelmed that, but that's okay because I'll just make this in front of that. That works. I'm going to put a little bit more. Just doing like, when I make a stroke like uh, just a half stroke, as it, it ends up to me looking as if there's a leaf there. And then if I go the opposite way in a half stroke, it, I think, helps. And here I'm going to put just a little more color in that side. And then let's see what happens if I just come up. So my flowers are not in any way perfect, but I think they're fairly energetic, if that makes any sense. And I love that flower. I'm kind of really liking this guy, but he needs a little more umph in this area. So let's give him just a little more. Okay, so now I've got some background working and I really want to have some kind of sky of some sort. The last one I did, I really kind of liked, I, I had a very turquoisey sky, and, but a much more yellow um, so here I'm going to work on my tur turquoise. I think I'll take something like mermaid. Let's try mermaid. And I have mermaid and I have a little bit of stone washed here. So to start off with, I'm going to throw some mermaid in um, very loosely in the top here. And it lo looks like it's got some other colors in it, but that's okay. Um, I can then look at the colors just kind of went, oh, but that's kind of fun. So I'm getting close, but I'm not getting in it. I'm just wish washing around. It's very pretty color in places. Let's just play with it a little bit. And then I may take some of this and put it down in my, in my, uh, color down here in the, in the, where you would think the, um, where there's shadows. I'm going to use it a bit as a shadow color too. And I'm starting to really enjoy the looseness of this. Um, I might put a little more still up. This corner turned kind of purple. 
but that's okay because I'm going to end up splashing a bunch of stuff at the very end. Um, this needs a little, so I've got a little bit of things I don't like. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can get some things I like into the things I don't like. Um, I'm going to put some more yellow in and some more green, but the yellow I'm putting in into my uh, bottom area like it's, there's a little bit of more tulip stuff happening. Tulip stuff, that's what it is. It's tulip stuff. Uh, there might be another couple things happening in there. So far, I'm pretty happy with it. As I said, the, the trick with this is to not get too stuck on saying this is exactly what's going to happen with this. Um, I want it to be loose and free. I want it, I, I want some of my, uh, you know, I may want this to come around and make a, a better bottom there. I really like that tulip that happened back there. I'm actually really liking this here. I'm going to put a little bit of extra stuff there. I want to connect some of these. So I may want to actually bring some of the the colors down as if we have colored stems. I'm liking that. And let me see what else I want to do. I still need a little more of light in the sky, but I might do that with just yellow. We'll see how um, I seem to have made a mess of my yellow over here. So I'm going to clean out my yellow and try to put some clean yellow in it. Okay. I like my shapes. That's all that's really. And I want this to be much, uh, again, going back and getting some lights and yellows and, and uh, working with it. Okay. Um, I even like some of the edges showing, not all of them. I'm going to see if I can work out an edge to go away there and an edge to go away there. I can also end up with a little bit more on the bottom as if it's connected with something. Got it? Okay, how is this looking? I'm actually really liking it. So the final, so I'm going to do like final stuff here. I can, if I choose later, I can go and make some, uh, use some white pen on it, and I might. Um, but if I want to get, and I might want to get just closer in a few of these places, that's fine. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. I let, I just may not want as much white in there. So I could come in with a little bit. I like the idea of a little bit of yellow, maybe. I could even take a little bit of the yellow and come kind of in like that one. I love how that one happened. Where's more of the yellow? I keep on getting my yellow to be ever so slightly not perfect. So I'm going to put some yellow in there. Put a little bit of yellow in there. A little bit of the uh, tulips have this really almost three, like here. I love the threesome or whatever that's happened there. So I think I'm pretty much happy with what I've got so far. Now, the last thing that I always do, I'm happy except for maybe a little more green. Green, 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 green. The, what did I do with my, did I use pearls in that? Ooh, I hope I didn't. Um, <laughs> it is open. Oh, well. Um, 
let me use a little more bottle and uh, let me just put a few more just windy windy things through maybe even over one or two does not have to be totally perfect I like the windy I like what happened I like more yellow down here 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 let's go I like the dot let's put some dots in here got it got it maybe even coming up bigger okay well I'm I'm liking all of that the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it rain um, I find that when I when I need to connect things that if I splatter it helps so right now it's a little too nice so here I'm just gonna splatter a little all over and give it the idea of there's rain falling, something's happening. I might splatter a little in the end. And I think I'm gonna call that a painting.